Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the concept of group generate and propagate signals. In the previous clip, we have seen the bitwise generate and bitwise propagate and this is a quick recap of the same. We clearly saw that when I generate signal or where we clearly saw that when my input A and B both are high, my C out is generated generate is one c out is generated irrespective of what my c in is that means i can easily predict my c out irrespective of my c in and this was for one bit so we got generate equal to a and b that means that if a and b both the inputs are high i don't have to wait for my c in i can easily say that my c out is one similarly we also saw that when my a and b are alternating my c in is equal to c out or i can easily say that my c in is propagated to c out and that means the propagate signal is going to be high and in this case is my c out will be equal to c in so we saw that a and b both needs to be alternating so it was nothing but the propagate signal would be high when a xor b Similarly, we saw that my C out was getting killed or C out was equal to zero when my A and B both were equal to zero and that's where my kill signal became high and it was nothing but my NOR gate which again we saw in the previous clip. So the thing which we understood here for the bitwise generate propagate and kill signals is that generate propagate and kill all three signals are mutually exclusive. When I say mutually exclusive, it clearly means that only one of them would be high at one point of time and others would be zero as you can easily make out from this condition, this condition, this condition and this condition. Now we go ahead and extend this concept to group wise or block wise addition. Why do we need to do this? Because at any point of time we are not going to do one bit addition, we are going to have multiple bits and to, for that multiple bits in order to predict my carry I need to know the concept of group generate and group propagate. Let's quickly get started with that. Here I have done a 2 bit addition where my A and B are 2 bit numbers and here this is my example 1 where I am adding A which is nothing but A2 which is nothing but 1 and A1 is 0 and B2 is 1 again and B1 is 1. In normal circumstances what you would do is you would say that okay find out what is my C in then suppose C in is 1 then you will add this one here then you will get some sum you will get some C out that will become the C in for this stage and then you finally get your C out. Remember the concept of group generate propagate and kill we are using it for C out and not for sum because we want the C in to C out delay to be minimum because C out is the signal which is going to drive the next adder. However, we don't need to do what I have mentioned here because if you see properly, your MSB A2 and B2 both have their inputs 1 that means A is 1, A2 is 1 and B2 is 1 that means my generate 2 is 1 and so my C out would always be generated to 1 irrespective of my C in and in this case this C in is nothing but the C in which is coming from stage 1 or C1. So we don't have to wait for C1, we don't have to wait for C in, we can straight away say that my C2 would be equal to 1 because my generate signal is high. We'll come and draw some analogies with this as we go ahead, just keep this in mind. Similarly, let's look at the second example here. Here again, we will not be following the addition like we do in a traditional way. Here we see that A2 is 0 and B2 is 1. That means A2 and B2 alternate. That clearly says that my propagate signal, bitwise propagate signal P2 is equal to 1 because we have seen that propagate is high when A and B alternate. Here we saw that A and B were high, so my generate was high. So when propagate is high, we know that my C2, which is going to be the output of this stage, will be equal to the input coming to it. So C2 will be equal to C1. Now let's see what is the value of C1. Do we need to depend on C in? Let's investigate these two terms. 
here we see that a1 is 1 b1 is 1 so this clearly says that my generate 1 is 1 because my a and b both are high that means my c out is 1 irrespective of my c in so again i don't have to depend on the c in my c1 can be easily predicted to be equal to 1 and that means my c out is also equal to 1 because my propagate signal is high so c2 is equal to c1 very very straightforward so what we are trying to understand is my c out from this example my c out is 1 here we saw a 2 bit addition when my msb is generating or my c out is 1 if my msb is propagating and my lsb is generating so here it was msb generating generating means generate signal high and here msb propagating and lsb generating in both these cases my c out will be high irrespective of my c in let's go ahead and do this at a pictorial level i have drawn some components for you this is the symbol for my generate this is the symbol for my propagate and this is my final c out and this is my c in now you have to tell me what will this be can anyone tell me when my c out is going to be high that's correct my c out is going to be high if it's a two bit number if this is my msb then the generate signal will come here so if this is generating my c out is high does everyone agree to that let's quickly see that so this is exactly it is my c, my c out is going to be high if my generate is high or any other case yes we just saw that or it could be simple something like this my msb will propagate and my lsb will generate we already saw this with an example then again my c out would be high isn't it we just saw this if you are just getting confused here i am doing it again so my msb here is going to propagate because they are alternating so propagate is high so c2 will be equal to c1 and c1 because this generate is high is equal to 1 so if my msb is propagating and my lsb is generating then again my c out is equal to 1 so that gives me this that this guy is propagating and this guy is generating so let's put a standard expression for this the standard expression for this would be nothing but my c out is high when my group generate is high correct group generate in two bits more than one bit it's called a group so group generate is high and when is my group generate high in this case it's going to be g for both the blocks when is this going to be high when my msb is generating that means individually g2 here or my msb is propagating so p2 and my lsb is generating does that make sense so g group generate g2 is to 1 for 2 bits right so 2 is to 1 is equal to g2 means msb generating or msb propagating and lsb generating this is what we have just derived let's go ahead and see a similar concept for group propagate as well so can anyone tell me if i have two bit numbers let's quickly write those numbers here 1 0 0 1 and i want to do this addition what is going to be my c2 that is nothing but the output of the second bit if you see properly this are alternating so this will say that c2 will be equal to c1 because a this input and this input both are alternating that means my c2 would be equal to c1 because my propagate signal is high since p2 is high let's see the first bit here if you see my again my inputs are alternating so my p1 is also equal to 1 and that clearly says that my c1 will be equal to c in so my c2 in nutshell is equal to c in we can easily say that so putting this in the diagram format when can i say that my c out will be equal to c in or in simple words when can i say my group propagate is high i can say my group propagate is high here where did you say that if this guy is propagating 
and this guy is propagating then my c out is equal to c in that means this and this here if it is propagating it means p2 is 1 here if it is propagating it means p1 is 1 so what can you say about p2 is to 1 it means that the msb is propagating and my lsb is also propagating so this is nothing but the concept of group propagate let's go ahead and do some more examples this is exactly what i showed you that if this guy is propagating and this guy is propagating whatever is my c in will be propagated to the c out and because they propagate it clearly says that a and b both will alternate and because both will alternate that means the bitwise propagate signal would be equal to one same is the case here so p for both the blocks is nothing but p2 and p1 let's go ahead and do this for a group of three so let's first do let's first do group or g three is to one how how can you say that your c out would be equal to one final c out here this is going to be the first stage this is going to be the second stage this is going to be the third stage and final output is going to be c3 so when can you say that your c3 is equal to one when your group generate is equal to one how can you say that your group generate is equal to one what is the criteria group generate will be equal to one there are, there will be three cases now let's take an example also here parallelly so it's easier so you all understand that if the msb generates my final c out which is nothing but c3 is equal to one irrespective of what is present here correct so if they both are one that means this is the third bit right so g3 is one correct so my group generate is high if my msb is generating in this case it's the third bit so g3 or let's take another example one zero one zero i beg your pardon here this should be one one zero plus zero one one here you see that your third bit is propagating that means c3 will be equal to c2 propagate is because a and b both are alternating that means your p3 is equal to one what is the value of c2 here if you see your generate is high already because a and b both are high so your g2 is one and that means g2 is one means c2 is one that means your c3 is also equal to one so this means that either msb generates that case i've already taken here or msb propagates and the middle block generates so this is nothing but g3 plus msb propagating is p3 this will propagate and this has to generate then only your g3 is to 1 is going to be high so that is nothing but g2 or another case could be similar to this let's take an example 1 1 1 0 0 1 this are alternating so p3 is 1 so this will take c2 equal to c1 again this two are propagating that means p2 is equal to 1 again that clearly means that this c output will be equal to this c in and here when it comes it sees that a and b both are one that clearly says that g1 is equal to one that means your c1 equal to one because p2 was high so c1 equal to c2 that means that is equal to one because p3 was high so c2 equal to c3 that means your final carry would be equal to one correct so the third case is nothing but your msb is propagating your middle bit is also propagating and your lsb is generating then your group generate is also again high so this is nothing but let's put it plus msb propagating and middle block also propagating and your lsb block is generating like this we can do it for n bit numbers as well or n bit addition now quickly let's do it for group propagate so this is nothing but group generate let's quickly do it for group propagate so when can you say your final c out is equal to c in your final c out in this case which is nothing but c3 will be equal to c in this is my c in when if let's take an example and from there you can tell me so this is propagating that means this c out will depend on c in 
this is propagating again it depends on the scene of the previous stage this is again propagating ones and zeros are alternating right for a's and b's that means propagate signal is high and now c out is equal to c in what does this show all of them have their propagate signal high so p3 is one so is p2 and so is p1 because a and b are alternating correct that clearly shows that my final c out will be equal to c in if my msb is propagating my middle block is propagating and my lsb is propagating so which is nothing but p3 and p2 and p1 this is nothing but a group propagate signal all this is going to be very important when we start study ki look ahead adders the group generate and the group propagate signal hope you are following and finally we will draw a general representation of this suppose i have blocks i have blocks i s to k and i am partitioning this block at k that means now this is my i s to k block and this is my k minus 1 to j block and i want to write a group generate and a group propagate signal from i is to j so g i is to j would be nothing but this is my msb in this case and this is my lsb correct so if this group is generating correct so this is going to be this generates or correct this propagates and this generates we have already seen this in the previous examples that means this propagates and the remaining guy generates if this is case if this is the case then my group generate is equal to hi so g i s to j is nothing but g i s to k means my msb is generating or my msb is propagating and my lsb is generating similarly let's do it for group propagate as well so what is the value of group propagate when is my final c out equal to c in or when is my group propagate high if this is propagating and this is propagating then this c in will come at my c out that means my msb also propagates and my lsb also propagates so p i s to j is nothing but p i s to k and so the msb has to propagate and the lsb also has to propagate so this is nothing but the general equation from group generate and group propagate which will be absolutely critical for us as we move ahead and understand ki look ahead adders hope you have followed stay tuned for further clips thank you very much and take care